This is uh, Sunday night. It is a week before BlizzCon, and we're going to talk about some BlizzCon stuff coming up. Season 8 just started, and the three of us together are our average of Paragon 200. Awesome, huh? <laughs> yes. And that is a Paragon 0 for me, 0 for Nerdbirds, and 600 for Goldfish. But average, you know, our, yeah. our, our, our mean... We're averaging out pretty okay. Our mean we're is 200, our median is 0, so that's not so great. Make a great team. But we'll talk about some... Uh, some season stuff, some end of season seven stuff. Since we had a whole conversation about that last time on the podcast, and it got it got nuked, unfortunately. And then a lot of BlizzCon stuff. I will be attending this year. Nerdwords will be attending this year. And Captain Goldfish is stuck in an aquarium in a dentist's office in Sydney, Australia, and cannot join us. <laughs> I wish, yeah. However, uh, I have a couple of um, Blizz- Blizzard mail me some codes for free BlizzCon virtual passes, so I can lavish one of those upon our Goldfish. Oh, that's great. That's That'll be really fun. And I would give some out to the listeners, but what have you assholes ever done for me? <laughs> do they do they leave us positive comments? Do they upvote us on YouTube? Probably. Seems likely. No, they don't. They don't do a fucking thing for us. <laughs> They're like Jay Wilson at an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue. Only less so. So, um, yeah. So there was... Uh, plus, I'm probably going to post this before BlizzCon anyway, so you're out of luck. But we, we, we'll probably give some away on the website in the next couple of days, which none of you look at anymore because you just read us on YouTube. The funny thing about the BlizzCon virtual tickets, this, ha- this happened like three years in a row back when Diablo 3 was in development, and like a week before BlizzCon, some PR person would email me and say, hey, we have three tickets for you if you want them to give them away to your site readers. Which is like, you know, great and all, but it's really hard to give away a ticket to something that's in Anaheim, California, a day before it starts, <laughs> unless you find someone who lives in like Los Angeles. <laughs> Los Angeles. Yeah, it's a regional specific contest you could have. Most definitely. Yeah, well, that's what we had to end up doing. I mean, but it's a pretty cool prize. But obviously, I, I can kind of emphasize, I can kind of understand their issue there. I'm sure they had, like, you know, employee, employee ticket allotments, and some few employees would, like, don't end up giving away all the ones they said they would or whatever. Or people cancel their tickets at the last minute, and they have extra tickets to give out, right? So they don't know that until right, right before the show, obviously. They did that this year with virtual tickets. I'm pretty sure they have, like, all the virtual tickets they want. Yeah, those... Given that it's, like... A virtual ticket? Yeah, that seems pretty easy to add another one on. Yeah, I don't feel like there's a yeah, limit to a, that. Yeah, it's not like some employee like Wyatt Chang's grandma couldn't make it after all, so he had an extra ticket left over to give out to fan sites, you know? They could have given this us a month ago. We had a time to like have a nice cool contest or something, right? And yes, we're complaining about getting free things because first world problems. <laughs> because first world problems. Exactly. And meanwhile, I'm going on a ticket they gave me for free, so I'm just, you know, just pretty much kicking that gift horse right in the middle. <laughs> You paid for your own ticket, right? I did. Edwards? I did indeed. I, I I did the your your son got shitty there for a second. Uh, re- repeat the last. Uh, one I'm glad that I did buy them because otherwise I would not be going. I'm super super excited that I was able to work it out. And you have time off from your retail. Uh, life. I was able to manage some things. Yes. And you're not going, Captain Goldfish. Why do you hate? Uh, I am not going. Too many family commitments to deal with. So, I. Why did you choose to have a family instead of playing video games? I know. Well, I try to do both as much as I can. Uh, But, yeah, one of them really was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. So what is your um, message to the kids at home who are considering, should they keep playing video games all the time or or have a family? Uh, You know, at some point, you're going to be playing games like, uh, and you're going to get kind of bored with it, and you're going to think it might be a good idea to have a family, so... It probably will happen eventually. You know, in be- so you recommend it, despite missing Blizzard. Yeah, I mean, at some point they go away, and then, you know, right now we're playing games together, so uh, it might just be uh, we're, we're doing Pokemon Go together. So No one plays know, Pokemon Go anymore. She plays it. We just... Remember that was a big thing for like a month, and it just vanished yeah, well, off we the face started. Of it's a lot of fun. It's a, good, it's a good way to get her out and get some exercise, so... I actually saw an ad tonight on somewhere. It popped up, and it was like, Pokemon Go, new Halloween figures, you know, Halloween monsters. I'm like, that still exists? Yeah. Like, wow, cool. Well, knows? Is it going to be less fun once it's winter and it's, like, cold outside? It is. It's already getting a little bit chilly. I mean, we usually – we we walk downtown every weekend to go to the library and do other stuff. So this is just one of those things that we do on the way, and it makes it 
a little bit better uh, incentive. But yeah, when it gets cold, it's going to be it's going to be tricky. How many of your children have been flattened by steamrollers chasing? We've only got the one, so <laughs> we just we so really zero. keep an eye on her. Only one yeah, left, well, or only one total? Just one total. <laughs> so. Okay, nerd words. Wor- best or worst podcast? Uh, ever worse. Ever. Worse. Worst. Yes, exactly. Okay, so season eight, season uh, seven ended worse. about a month ago. Obviously, that's old news for everybody, but we had some podcasts about that. Did you have a big end of season rush? Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't was a there, big was push. Um, this season, I definitely took a, a little more casual approach than I did previous seasons. Um, but I was able to push a little bit before the end. I, I think I got in the top thousand. I don't know, like maybe six or seven hundred. I don't remember being very high. Um, yeah, it was. When total you played a barb this time, right? It was a barb. Was, uh, was cosplaying as a wizard, actually. Um, but yeah, it was. Uh, it's really good. It was. Uh, it was fun. I remember enjoying. I had a couple of buddies over, and we played like the last couple of days. Um, but yeah, I have been neglect. I have had work being insane and real life being insane. So it's been. You're getting your sound is breaking okay. a little bit, but I think we yeah. get the gist of that. One time, the female wi- female barbarian tried to cosplay as the male wizard, and it wasn't <laughs> believable. He was much too masculine. But the other way around does work. Did you have any exciting end of season seven stuff, Captain Goldfish? You playing uh, hardcore? Playing hardcore, I didn't die uh, at the end of the season. I got a little tired of uh, fishing around. You know, I'm playing a non-standard wizard build. I did get up to 85 in the season. Um, but I wasn't really taking a lot of risks with my. I could I could have put more damage on a little bit less toughness, but uh, I was enjoying trying a bit more than and uh, and staying alive so I could I could eventually do a little bit better. But yeah, I had a good time. Uh, yeah, Where did you finish up, in the top thousand? Probably in the top hundred. I don't. I I can't really recall right this where where that eighty five clear was. But yeah, it's probably in the top hundred hardcore. Uh, it's it's not like it was last season where the the wizards were going nuts. So gr one twenty. Yeah, and then on, I did a, I think I did an eighty six when we in the week between seasons, which which a week between seasons I thought was great. I was really uh, happy with that because. I think two weeks between seasons is, is just rough. It's a long time. So there was only a week. I guess that's why season eight started so quickly. Because I, I was I pushed right at the end of season seven. I didn't play any of the last day, but then it seemed like I'm like oh, I'm taking a break, and it seemed like the next time I looked, it was already yeah. The next I mean, they season. cut the season like, short, really? a little so short, good. and then cut the in between time short, which I was fine with both. You know, to tell the truth, I was three months is just a hair long uh, for. Uh, for my seasons, uh, I don't, and I, I really think that even the casual players, if if they're not getting what they want in three months, then they're probably just, ne- you know, they might as well not even be playing seasons. So, yeah, and that this was, was fine. Only two months I, I, had, a week I had already right? done so. most everything I needed, and it, it was kind of cooling off a little bit. So. Uh, I was fine with the reset. I was looking forward to it. Even though the reset didn't really give us anything new, I just like this time of the season a lot. Yeah, we were wondering about that last uh, after the last season, because they posted the little Blizzard posted their little blog about you know new cosmetic rewards and didn't have a word about any changes to the game. And we're like, why are they starting a new season early it seems if like they're not it making any patch just, changes at all? I mean, it, and I it, wouldn't the timing don't have, have been... the answer to that yet. Like we would have been doing the season in the middle of BlizzCon, wouldn't it? Well, that was kind of the expectation. Like it would be like the new season would be starting right around BlizzCon. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe they're going to announce something new. We could all have like doing that when they're all trying to do BlizzCon. Have are there actually any changes? Uh, no, to patch? I don't I think mean, so. Anything at all? Any new content? I don't think there was. So even some of the, I mean, there were obviously some very imbalanced. No, there's deaths, no. You know, uh, as far as I know, there was no changes. Time. There's no patch. Uh, there's no fixes that are. To, that are changing the actual gameplay. The only thing they put out was, you know, the slightly different reused conquests and season journey stuff, but nothing yeah. I haven't seen there either. 
Yeah, it's mostly just maintenance this time. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's all a sign that the, all the developers are working furiously. Uh, if only. I, I, I'm definitely not launched launch next, next week, right? but um, I'm really hoping. Yeah. I'm really Next hoping for a surprise live, announcement on the soon. I mean, like, it's in. obviously we know that we're kind of waiting with bated breath at this point, but it'd be really nice to hear something for sure. Probably, yeah. If you're waiting with bated breath, you're going to die before then. It's like, you need to breathe deeply. Yeah, so end of um, Season 7, I, I talked about this last time on the <laughs> podcast, but no one heard that except for a t- me and two listeners, so that's not going to happen during the recording. But I, I got the most I played ever was last season. I got every piece of gear augmented, you know, you know, perfect quality gear basically, all augmented with the level sixty five or plus gyms, mostly seventy fives and up. And I did a GR eighty or eighty one, I forget right at the end. I didn't I was gonna play the last day, but I didn't able and that was I think I was thinking I was thirty seven, forty one, something like that in terms of top thousand demon hunters. So not as high a level right. as the wizards, but obviously I was closer to the top on the on the chart. And, like, the top 15 Demon Hunters were all this weird build where it was, like, just yeah, this one weapon that, that gives yeah. you Fan of Knives stacks every second for 30 seconds. It was this weird conglomeration build where you had entirely defensive gear on every other slot and, like, a billion toughness and all diamonds and this one item. But you didn't have any set items. I, don't know. I mean, I'm sure it was a cool build, and I didn't play it myself, but... So in terms of actual Demon Hunter builds, you know, the next 90 or next 250 well, I, or something, we're all, you know, I can TV imagine build you that would I really about dislike that Phantom Knife. And of course, that's what I was playing. Because, you know, I believe, and I'm not, uh, I, I think you just, uh, what's the skill where you just uh, twist around and shoot everything and, and move through stuff? Strafe? Okay, you, I think you just strafe around and gather right. up things until you get the Phantom Knives up to however many stacks. Yeah, you just do that and just like go around and around Stacked and Stacked up just, to 25 or something. Eventually, you, you pop it, and in a high grip, it is just, uh, it's just that. Just yeah, but but most of the time you're just you scraping everything around, within 10 yards. scraping around, gathering stuff up into as big of a group as you can. To yeah, well, it's like it's kind of like the cow level back in the old days. Like like a whirlwind barb, you know, twenty years ago. Yeah, I, I didn't play it. It seemed weird, but I mean, obviously, it was effective. People were doing up to the high nineties with that, and nobody did over like eighty five yeah, or eighty six with UE. Yeah, I actually built one of those because I, I think did last 80, season or the season before what, I had yeah, it. I think it was last season. I had a demon hunter, and I built that up just to test it out to see how it felt because I was wondering if I wanted to do that for a season, and I did not. It was really uh, boring. I found it. It seems like it'd be really crappy until it's it's yeah, those builds that only works like at the very I mean, highest and, and level. Until then, you just want to do just, something else and kill fast. But I mean, I was doing I was doing GR eighties in like four minutes, five minutes, and what kind of that? The GR seventy fives in four minutes, and GR eighties in like nine minutes, and then I just couldn't do above like eighty one. Yeah, got, the def- difficulty like just ramps up at some point. You're just like, I oh, I, I can do before before I could just do it, no problem. And then all of a sudden, oh, I can't even go past this. So it's. it's yeah, like the, like the last two weeks of the season, I was just doing like GR seventies, just you know, four minutes, three minutes, fast you can vault through them, basically, just almost one shotting stuff. And it's amazing you get mm-hmm. to like suddenly like five levels higher, you can't finish it at all. It's funny how quickly you kind of top off on character damage. But I had pretty good gear. I just I didn't have a chance to fish much. I was doing, you know, I had every Paragon point in decks. I had all my gear <laughs> yeah, levels at the pants. end. I think I had a couple of uh, diamonds <laughs> in my pants, but I mean that, that didn't make much sense. But you just, yeah, exactly. Like uh, my, my first life said. But but you just gotta fish a bunch until you get some really easy spawn. You know, I could do every one in like sixteen to seventeen. Yeah, minutes. that's where I was at with my eighty five. Really good spawn, and it's like yeah. okay, now suddenly doing it twelve was, and a half minutes. It, you know? it get, and that got really boring just, after a while. It's like I find I'm that finishing kind of a bunch personally. of eighty fives in like you know fifteen minutes and you know thirty seconds, fifteen you know sixteen minutes. It's just it's tiring. I just can't take that tediousness. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're kind of right at the, yeah, and the, the thing the is, purple, I know the purple I purple line versus the, uh, the the white line is kind of right there in the whole grift progress, and you get one level with like you get you get like five elites yeah, right at the start. Like, could, hey, I'm two minutes ahead, then all of a sudden you get like some whole long shit like, level, super defensive. Level, like, so I could change out some gems and and you know clear the thing with no problem, but I could also easily die because you start procking like left and right, and I was having a lot of issues before that, so I just 
decided to stick with the defensiveness and stay alive to try it again. Diamonds? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> what is so that? So we're just listening to him talking, <laughs> no. and he's like, diamonds? Defensive? No, I don't have diamonds in my pants either, so... What are, what are these things? <laughs> they, don't have, they don't have that in Diablo 3. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. No? Well, that's, that's probably why you only have one child, right? I try to get a few more there. So anyway, so that's enough for the for last season stuff, and obviously this season. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm hoping I'll have some downtime. I will but like, I'm honestly, hoping I like, have more like real life downtime soon. Time plus, I know work's gonna be crazy for the next few months, though. So. Yeah, I've been working. I've worked the last eight days straight. I'm working the next two days, and I have to do all this end of month inventory stuff because I'm I'm flying out. Of, I get up at four in the morning on the second to fly down to San Diego to visit my family for a few days before BlizzCon. So I'm trying to get everything done before then. Then, when, then I'm there for five. I'm there for a week, and then I come, come back. I have to work like nine days straight, and I have like two huge yeah. events, and then uh, Thanksgiving, uh-huh. free Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving weekend, like the biggest weekends of the year for like wine sales. So there you go. Much like retail, I said I'm not selling Call of Duty. I'm I said I'm selling Cabernet Sauvignon instead of Call of Duty, but pretty much the same shit. And then, but then yeah, oh like, uh, well, it, it slows, slows down right. towards you past Christmas, like, middle of January, like, really, because you, you have like gift cards and returns and stuff for a long time. Yeah, Black Friday and all that kind of crap. Day after Christmas, yeah, day after Christmas. Not not a big day for wine sales, oddly enough. You must sell it before. And people buy a lot of wine heading up to Christmas for parties and stuff like that. Case specials, that kind of stuff. You really move a bunch. And then January is like just dead time. So, yeah. So I, I might get to play this season unless they end it in like six weeks. Unless every season's like <laughs> a week shorter. And pretty soon we're in like season forty-seven and it lasts for six hours. That'd be awesome. Kind of like my first marriage. So, um, any other, um, what's the next topic here? So, uh, yeah, so a uh, virtual shit. I didn't say time. that. That's one thing. We have these virtual tickets that none of you listeners <laughs> are getting because you give us nothing and we don't like you. Well, that's what Erdberg says. I, you thought you thought it, though. You're going to BlizzCon, <laughs> Erdberg. You get lots of virtual yeah, that's shit. Very sweet. You're going to get a virtual ticket, Captain Goldfish, because you're a special <laughs> person and I love you. Do you love me, too? No, you don't. You don't love me. Much like our YouTube listeners. So what is in the so? Oh, the Virtual Diablo pack, three gift you know, is a sort of miniature crap, Diablo. You know, wings. What is there, yeah. Diablo pet I, now? What's the what's the Diablo three gift? Oh, you mean for the the season journey? Oh, for Blizzcon, yeah, it's a little Diablo. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. I mean, no, I mean, Can you for the, sell for the, it? The, no, I don't Blizzcon, think so. <laughs> Diablo <laughs> pet. Can I sell that? Dude, the Diablo yeah. pet is sick, though. You want it? Well, I, I mean, that made I sold a shit. I made a fortune <laughs> on selling Serial Virtual Pets like a month, like earlier this year. I have a little. I have a little walking gold. I have a little walking treasure chest that bites you in the ankles. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I finally got. I like my the last one weird looking pet, sheep. Uh, that one mutant sheep that like, walks on two legs. In the season, yeah. Like that Chernobyl sheep. That one's kind of cool. Well, I found my first uh, goblin yesterday. That there's probably like ten new ones. Did not one, so I realized I actually had them all. They should have at least one pet from the uh, the secret cow level, right? Well, you can get the like one of those little rainbow clouds you click on. I would totally use that as a virtual pet. You get the rainbow. Pick up my gold for me. So. How about one of the little? How about a little Diablo pinata? That would be an awesome virtual pet, right? No, uh, I did not. I, I did. was not. Yeah, it's yeah. too much trouble. You got to go to the rainbow level. Did you get that last season? I I one time found the liquid rainbow essence. I'm like, oh yeah, they still have those things for the rainbow level. I've forgotten all about that. Like I found uh, it for in one th- game. I don't even know I did what else that they have. The they last, made it easier, right? Like last the rib out or something, like five seasons I, ago. I, when they first like came out, fewer pieces than I, used to be. I went around and formed them all when I was between seasons, so. <laughs> yeah, well, I squeeze it in there. I would say you have too much free time, but uh, you apparently and have a family. Oh, children, damn it. Case, <laughs> and yet you have too much uh, free time. God. I know, man. I, I feel like he's, yeah, he's, got a, he's ready for him. You gotta, you gotta be a little faster <laughs> to the party on that's what she said jokes around here in her words. Yeah, that's what she said. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's it's, it's my uh, gift. So, virtual pets. I was thinking about it, it's kind of funny. Every other game gets like Diablo virtual shit, like those little miniature Diablos and like little Tyrael pets in WoW, and I'm sure Warcraft has some stuff. They have a couple of those in Diablo. Like they, we had Grunty the Murloc was like a virtual pet from BlizzCon some years yes. ago. But, you know, remember when it was like, there were like rainbows in Diablo 3 and it was like a six month, like, online riot? <laughs> yeah. Why is it that Blizzard can't. What, imagine if they put, like, like, a gnome on a motorcycle in Diablo 3. That would be, like, the end of the world, right? And you, you can put any bullshit you can think of in World of Warcraft. Even StarCraft. They have, like, like, little Diablo monsters and shit. 
How come? What is it? Is it is, is it the community? Is it the game? Uh, are you saying, are you saying that chess humorous is not elements a just not fit the Diablo world? Is that because the fan, fan community is weird? What is the difference? Yeah, well, there's also that live... Uh, well, kind of, but it's sort of an optional thing. Yeah, kind of like zombie. The, cat, the little kid with yeah, the copper sword. I'm not familiar with the thing. reference. I haven't seen the the movie or the show. Way, way, to, way to research the show there. Yeah. Here, you uh, gold, gold person. Yeah, I mean, there are some virtual pets, and obviously we have, like, Kerrigan wings. You know, some, one of the wing sets is a little bit StarCrafty. But just generally speaking, I mean, obviously, like, like Heart of the Swarm, or yeah. what's that game called now? H-O-T-S. Heroes of the Storm. <laughs> That's, like, entirely Actual an amalgamation of every Blizzard game. Yes. You can put anything in there. Yeah. Including, including Wizards I did play that have that. ranged attacks. Fun. In other words, silently sobbing in the distance. Yes. Effective ranged attacks, I should say. And then the other one, what's the what's the card uh, thing? Hearthstone, Heart, so Hearth, Hearthstone, 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 whatever that's called. That's like a combination of every game. And I guess Overwatch at some point, if there was like a Diablo character added in Overwatch, which, yeah, but they have like you know they have necromancers and they have some witch doctors and uh, shit. I think it's an older play. generation is what I'm gonna Why say. Why is Diablo? I'm gonna go with an older Diablo group just of like, gamers, just like dicks or what? Partially because the game came out in 90, 96, not 98, 98, 98. Because 90, the game 90. is gothic and dark, and you can't put like gnomes on motorcycles and dark. Two thousand four. Oh, you mean? Oh, you mean Warcraft? Well, so the World of Warcraft came out. Warcraft started before Diablo. Warcraft one was out. Oh, those exist too, but it's also a different kind of universe. It doesn't well, have that, that universe setting, the same setting that Diablo has. So why There's an expectation among the older fan group, I would say. World. Warcraft was always a little more cartoony. Yeah. They were always a little bit more silly. Yeah, I mean, New York here and stuff, you know. They had funny exploding sheep and shit back in the old days. Of course, they're Diablo too, but... but yeah, I was just yeah. wondering, you know, you look at... There's such an outcry about any... Yeah, non, well, the rainbows do... They, you know, who put rainbows in my Diablo Well, thing? then, well, then everybody who subscribed to a year of Warcraft shit. got you Diablo know, 2008 3, to 12, so. that was just nonstop. And I don't think anybody cares about that in StarCraft. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, they had a subscription. They didn't necessarily get Diablo three. I think it's cool. Only certain people. I, I like I like the different like uh, cosmetic items because I okay, like any other virtual with my cosmetic. Thoughts? Do you care like, about the, the way you look and stuff? Like I think it's fun. Um, but I know I know that you don't care for them so much. So, um, but yeah, I think they're cool. Uh, it's definitely one of the the perks, many perks of going to BlizzCon for sure. <laughs> when I started pushing a little bit at the end of season uh, seven, I, I dyed all my armor pink nice. and put on. And I was playing a male demon hunter because I had to punish myself for being bad. Oh, that's great! I dyed all my armor pink and did my hat with the uh, the vanishing dye. So you could see my awesome flowing locks, and you could tell that I was a male demon hunter at all times. And I had all pink armor on, and I had one of this. I had one of those stupid glow. The one cartoonish looking glowing skull. There's like two little glowing skulls. <laughs> so basically, I was trying to look as stupid as possible. So my my account forever in the top, you it know, sounds 30, pretty awful. forty or whatever it was, would have the dumbest looking demon hunter on the entire board, <laughs> and I probably achieved that. I like I like some of them. I think they could without be cool. much effort to get it. No wings <laughs> at all because wings all look. I like stupid. my green wings. All the wings look dumb. You should be yeah, bad about the, wearing them. The lower of the no. the green wings are bad. Wings. You should feel bad about wearing them. The glowing ones, not the not the big do you, ones. Do you wear wings, goldfish? No, I feel great about it. <laughs> yeah, no wings there. But you feel bad about it, though, right? Uh, you play well, Pokemon you Go, obviously you have very low standards. Uh, why aren't there rainbow yeah. wings yet? To match the rainbow avatar. Like a literal rainbow coming Rainbows out of Rainbows required. Shows. No, no they're not. I want, <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want a virtual pride parade on my avatar. <laughs> yeah, Exactly. <laughs> and a, you know, a pot of gold at the bottom of all of them. No, I mean, like, yeah, like, it's going to be interesting, so other weird I guess. Stuff like, happened, it, like, it's cool, um, I've never been to a Weird Al show or seen a Weird Al Yankovic It's not really for, uh, it's not, like, my, I don't think I'm the target there. I don't know. It'll be, <laughs> it'll be fun. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm kind of curious of that, but, um, I mean, like, they always have, like, you know, musical artists, musical guests, and I just spend that time usually shopping, even if I like there. the band, so, um, if I'm there, at least. So, it's... I don't know. Metallica, I was there when Metallica was there, and that was awesome, but I still spent a lot of it, like, while they were playing, so... Uh, yeah, yeah. Given that you're... Once they shoot Mets in the fuck-off stage, right? Then it got better. Once the, once the fat roadie left. 
Yeah. I would say more goofy. <laughs> well, he, but Tenacious retired. D is he's more just, my sense of humor. humor. Like, so is, I, that, is I, Weird I would, Al any more or less Tenacious goofy than Tenacious D? That demon's pretty hot. Yeah, he put video, out though. new music relatively exactly. recently. Weird Al, obviously Weird Al had a big uh, publicity thing. Like, what was it last year, year, two years ago? He put like had like five videos came out like in a week, and some of them were, were quite clever. Yeah, that was pretty. That was a big thing. I mean, it became a whole thing. So I think he's, I think he's relevant to people this day and age. More than, remember the first BlizzCon was like the Offspring, and they hadn't had a song <laughs> in like twenty years. I think I actually so, kind of yeah. like the Offspring. Some of their old songs, you know, they're kind of like that. They're kind of like that like Green Day, but not. But that was like who really? Didn't they have like Lincoln Park one year at BlizzCon early on? They're still pouting in the in the, in the, in the locker room by, room by junior high, I think. But they, they existed. So I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to be there that late. I'm probably going to leave like early in the day Saturday because I have to get back to San Diego and, and do shit with my yeah. family and stuff. I, I mean, that's the thing. The He's always it's always family. witty and fun. It's just like but not something I'm like I'm not like Weird jamming Weirdo. Cool. I, I like his video for uh, for work, Royals. You know, like, you know, the the, the, the Lords co- uh, Royals. Yeah, yeah it's cool, cool, but it's just not like it's my nice, thing. Nice riff. Yeah, I, I think wonder if his so. stage show, impressive. like, is it cool? Is it like visual components? You, is there? I guess you, BlizzCon's kind of if you thought it was right, but all right. To I'm assuming he switches. Ca- not, I'm assuming he does costumes you didn't and stuff, right? Like own it and play it in the car, which doesn't really seem like most people do. I think his show is pretty. Yeah, I think it's a very. I think it's good. It will be a very entertaining show. Yeah, I, I mean it'll be it'll be very, something to watch. I'll definitely watch at least a bit of it before I go shop. Or he's a more I'm visual medium, obviously. I would right? probably a enjoy that artist. show more than a lot of bands that I even like, just because it, it would just be a very interesting experience. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I I I'm not a. And that was real, the jam. I don't ha- I don't Novelty. have any weird all Yankees. Amish I don't Paradise. Have any weird, I I did when I was. You gotta like Amish Paradise. Uh, right? In. Yeah. Junior high or something, I think I had an early Weird Al Yankovic album. That's about the time that you usually should have them. But yeah, I don't have any now. But yeah, yeah. I've just seen his videos. I've never bought anything of his. Never bothered to download anything. It's just you know they're kind of funny. You see him in the video. It's like oh this is clever. It's like like twice you watch it twice and then you're kind of done, right? I'm gonna check my first wife. Um, so flashing back a little bit, we had this <laughs> whole thing like a, like three weeks ago with Dave Brevik. Yes, maybe, like, I got super Blizzard, excited. And I'm not like, going to lie. Mostly because it was so cryptic out, and, and there was so much like, like there was, there was a lot happen, of like, like social media hype behind it. So I don't know. I got, I got drawn into it. I mean, I don't think anyone could, could doubt that it would be really cool to see, but, um, but yeah, I don't, it's obviously not the case. So I was not too, I saw the tweet and I saw that he said, I believe it was, Diablo-like games, so it seemed pretty non-committal too. Yeah, I mean, if you you know, in hindsight, it's like, oh well, duh. He said, you know, Diablo-like. Diablo, he wouldn't say Diablo-like, but at the same time, yeah, I, I can't remember the wording, but it was like it. It's like oh, that's that's way too not specific. Yeah. To, you know, even to be hinting at. Yeah. But. Yeah, I mean, I could see why people would be excited. I mean, it just seems, you know, it's almost like you just want it to happen so bad that it's it's really easy to make that leap. Yeah. Then he put, but he put out that. Uh, then he tweeted that he wasn't. So that was kind yeah. of. Yeah, which was which was worse. It wasn't just that he wasn't. It was that he's working for the competitor for Diablo. It's like, oh, well, shit. <laughs> yeah, it's a little weird to put. Yeah, and he meant Path of Exile, actually, was a funny part. But, of course, Path of Exile is basically <laughs> like Diablo 2 with I feel like he had stuff, enough characters you know, much more in that style of game, so that, that would certainly be what Brevik would be appealing to. If he wanted Diablo to. 3 was a very different direction. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> the, and as well, mostly. after seeing what happened, I would respond pretty quick, oh, no, you know, I'm actually doing this. If you want clear explanations, right. stay off of He's Twitter. He's probably getting a lot of uh, retweets, so... The other funny part was at the same time they had a full thing where Dave Brevik and Bill Roper were at Blizzard. They posted this on their Twitter and they were like outside with the uh, the orc statue. <laughs> and Bill Roper absolutely unrecognizable without the beard. If you'd give me a if you give me a hundred guesses and said this is a person with video games, I would have like guessed the founder of Nintendo before I got around to Bill Roper. And he's like <laughs> Japanese, or at least he was before he died. I don't know. I would never have known who that was. And plus he was about twenty years younger. I thought Bill Roper was like sixty, frankly. He looked like young and virile and stuff. 
And people were, like, saying, who cares if Bill Roper comes back? All he ever did was funny orc voices. Bill Roper was, like, so far and away the best PR guy Blizzard ever had on any Diablo series. I mean, you know, the old joke is, like, he could sell snow to Eskimos or whatever. He could, like, sell repackaged snow. He could sell charity yeah. donations to Donald Trump. That's how good a salesman he was. I mean, he was just... He could talk, and... I, I followed the, um... Was it called Flagship Studios? You know, after they left Blizzard, after they left Diablo 2, and they all made uh, Hellgate, Hellgate London. And a friend of mine is a college professor, and she had a a, col- a a virtual reality MMO kind of classroom she did. And she had students, they, are, they were all playing World of Warcraft and stuff. Bill Roper went and did a presentation at her college in San Francisco area. And these kids were all totally into World of Warcraft. Yeah. Because after Hellgate London had launched them in a total failure. And the kids were yep. so excited to play Hellgate London for their next game after the Bill Roper presentation. And these are like totally jaded, like 20-year-olds who, who thought that <laughs> Hellgate London was absolute crap. Back in like 1998 or whenever this was, 2004 or something. He was an amazing spokesperson, and I did, I did multiple interviews with him, and, and I think I had sex with him one time by accident. He was just that good. At, at, he could talk you into anything. But he's not there anymore, and he works for companies no one cares about. So I, I remember back when Diablo 3 was new, and people were talking, and you were seeing like you know like like Leonard Boyarsky and like Jay Wilson and all the other whoever's were back at that stage doing doing press. And I was just thinking, if Bill Roper was doing this, this game would have like two million more pre-sales yeah. already. Yeah. Because he was just so good at, at the pitch. Makes and me the sad. Conversation. But maybe one day. And uh, he's taken his his. I don't know. I don't know much about Bill Roper. Uh, Dave Brevik, I mean, had just gotten a little hype too from the whole Diablo post mortem and stuff. And you know, obviously he's a big figurehead. At, at, he was the big figurehead at Marvel Heroes and stuff too. So he got a little more public appeal. Bill Roper, I'm less familiar with. Yeah, I'm not either. If you wanted me to pick him out, I would never. There, there'd be nobody. Yeah. <laughs> well, not without a beard, anyway. Another thing that happened a few weeks ago, obviously the BlizzCon 2016 schedule was announced. This is obviously not current news at the moment, but leading up to that, there were still some people who had happy fantasy it, lives it, who were like, hey, um, before, there'll be lots no, of cool Blizzard stuff. Um, stuff? I probably, I mean, unless, there's like, like one there's a surprise announcement that gets like changed, I may not even like catch it, I don't stage. know. I, I think this BlizzCon for me mostly this year as a Diablo Excite. fan is going to be mostly just hanging out with other Diablo fans more than expecting Diablo news. I mean, there's always that hope, but I'm just going to hang out and have a good time and meet up with buddies. I mean, I play I play pretty much everything. I play uh, Warcraft. I'm actually raiding pretty heavily in the new expansion. Um, I play Heroes of the Storm. I play Overwatch uh, quite heavily when it first came out, but not for a while now. But, but I mean, I'm a Overwatch Blizzard fan. I'm a Diablo fan games? first and foremost, but I'm a Blizzard fan. I just I, I'm a big fan of everything that they do. So <laughs> it's uh, it'll be fun for me. Well, I just, I just didn't know his name. <laughs> Not that young. So now you have your. I'm I am lavishing you with a virtual ticket. Um, no gold gold fish balls. Are you going to be uh, getting your DVR to catch that Diablo three random panel? There is an actual <laughs> yeah, Diablo yeah, three panel on the I'll second be, stage. I'll, you but know, it's like late in the day, the first day. See what it's time like, it's you know, on. What is, what is it? Diablo three? What's coming next? Some shit like that. They'll they'll defrost they'll defrost <laughs> white uh, chain and go up there and like yellow people crap, for a while. So. <laughs> uh, God, I am. Yeah, no, you won't. You'll be watching the live stream of like the, the StarCraft. Yeah, channel. I will. I'm trying not. To, I'm trying to keep it. Uh, keep my expectations low. I mean, when you say it like they've got a well, that's irrelevant. You'll be watching a anyway. small little part of it. So you're gonna oh, watch the album. Are you excited? Are you hoping uh, for? Are you gonna watch this live stream? But yeah, I'm keeping my expectations low so I can be excited for whatever comes out. I mean, obviously, I'm still playing the game, even though nothing happened this season. So, uh, I'm still enjoying it. I just don't really expect a whole lot. Uh, I mean, there's so much hype for everything. You know, the people are, are pointing to a tweet that Diablo, the Twitter account, you know, said that when somebody said they were, they were hoping there was... Yeah, yeah. The, and it's nor, like, nor you know, you. I don't know what that means... You know, it could mean that there's going to be something great, or it could mean, uh, like, when your your aunt finds out that you like Let's Star Wars and she gives year, you right? some like uh, space sheets for Christmas or something. You know, <laughs> you know, that's not what I had in mind. So, who knows? Who knows what's going to be great? Yeah, uh, some I know, and that uh, answer is nothing. 
I know it's the twentieth yeah, for Diablo. They are having a little party this year, like outside of the the street, like in the pavilion. It's like it's like what is it? It's Blizzard's twentieth anniversary and Diablo. What is it? Was it Blizzard's twenty five and Diablo is twenty something like that? I forget the numbers, but so last year. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I feel like people really are getting for Diablo so 3, worked but they up. Had anything less than you Diablo 4, with Wyatt and stuff. people are going to go nuts. And this year, like, out in the street by that big fountain, like, standing in the hot yeah. sun, and, yeah. like, I don't know, and then chicken and waffles with Wyatt? How's that going to work? Over. If I give you... so Before they announce Diablo it? Diablo 4 announcement at BlizzCon. Your over-under is 2017. Uh, Sorry, your over-under is 2018. Yeah, I would say, I would say 2018 or later. Over-under. That means you think 2019 yeah, or later. that sounds reasonable. I mean, it's almost When will 20, Diablo 4 be featured it's at almost BlizzCon? What year? At the end of the year. This is 2016, so. by the way. Maybe. Yeah. What do you think, gold balls? Fish? <laughs> <laughs> Trying I mean, to keep the you... expectations low. Yeah, when you start... <laughs> so not this year, and not next year, but maybe the year after. You sound like my first wife again. I mean, unless they're doing something... So we have so many children together. If they're doing something uh, really yeah. well, stealthy... Once, once I mean, again, who do you sound they, like? They put together a whole team... My and first they, wife. You know, okay. Yeah, I have an ex this team. year. I think there would be nothing, and uh, I'm not it just expecting doesn't, her. There's nothing pointing but us to There was a little thing a few coming. weeks ago. Yeah, go ahead. Did, did that say Diablo unannounced oh, project or just unannounced project? Okay. Well, like six oh, months ago, okay. we had some news posts about they were they had all these job openings for the Diablo unannounced project, and they had the game director and a bunch of like senior art director positions and such. It's like all those are no longer hot. listed. Yes, it did. It said Diablo unannounced project, and they had a few Diablo three jobs also, but they were like really basic, like you know, like UI interface artists that kind of stuff. Like they were very nuts and bolts jobs. But this is. And this is after, like, all the Diablo 3 team had been announcing they were quitting, you know. They'd gone over, like, you know, like, they were working on other projects, John Yang and um, who Don Hu and everybody else was moving elsewhere after Josh had left, all that kind of stuff. They don't have any of those Diablo unannounced project jobs listed anymore. So either they, either they filled them or they just don't, they're not hiring them anymore. I mean, possibly both, but... I mean, at the best case scenario is they have the senior yeah. developer staff. Yeah, I think the, I think the movement of the Tom Schultz signifies that too. And they're not even fleshing out the team yet. They're like doing like the high level, you know. Well, I mean, they moved the lead designer from Legion, larger, Tom, uh, Tom Chilton, larger, moved over to larger, another three, universe within Blizzard. And so then, I'm. And they'll probably they they could get like programmers and artists from other games <laughs> and move them over and start fleshing <laughs> yeah. out a team before they do a bunch of public hirings. But yeah, go ahead, Nerdverse. <laughs> Literally, only one could even be misconstrued as Donkey Kong. Overwatch two. <laughs> yes, Overwatch two. It's it's all it's all. <laughs> it's probably it's all not like Donkey true. Kong. Every character is like Donkey Kong, like in the new one. <laughs> well, they're trying to cut down all of the. Hits. Uh, I think if you make either the like new Donkey Diablo. Kong, I would say the new Diablo game. Hits, I don't think. That, I think we're beyond expansion at this point. I think if there's gonna be something new, it's what gonna be a game like oh, Diablo Four, or if I mean if it so is a Diablo game, if it's in the Diablo universe, it has to be a new game. <laughs> they have a T-shirt for sale at BlizzCon this year that's called Diablo Three Realms of Evil. What does that mean? Yeah, no, well, I don't think know, so. Every Blizzard expansion Could pack be. is three names with of in the middle. I mean, and they would just post words? it on their website all willy that's nilly. <laughs> I don't think so. Realms of Evil. I think I proved my point. <laughs> no? You don't believe it? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. <clears throat> because they know you won't believe it. I originally, they know you I originally thought it could be. Night, I think like, now it's just signifying the 20th happen. anniversary celebration. No? Because that's so? going to be, I guess, the day we're celebrating. Even though it's not... The, like, you see, the thing about it is it's not the actual Blizzard 20th Blizzard anniversary Blizzard until Blizzard. December 31st. Is that a, a harbinger of, like, a Diablo 3 know. pen and paper, Diablo Dungeons and Dragons kind of thing? I mean, it's just an item that is Diablo-related somehow and has those that 11, that 114... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. How, how do Diablo I have it. No, because I'm trying to not care. Universe. Like, I don't want to give a shit. If I give a shit, then I'll be disappointed. I just want to go and just have fun, and that's it. If I go in with expectations, I'm going to be let down. 
<laughs> Good answer. You haven't, you haven't thought it all through yet. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what my room looks like. Actually, do you have? <laughs> do you have a spare bedroom in your house? Uh, I'm in the same boat. Got, like, where I don't really want to. Pictures of Diablo on the walls. It's like a bunch I, of red threads, like all it's, connecting. It's hard them, not like, to feel track, track like it back something's going to gonna home. be announced. But uh, I just don't exactly. want to get worked up. About what, do you, what do you think about any of these uh, mysteries and end theories because about gold, goldfish? No matter what happens, I'm still going to be playing for oh, at no. least the foreseeable future. Uh, I just I, I would like an expansion, but it seems like yeah, unless it's they're going to announce something that's going to come out really soon, it's not even going to make me feel better. If they announce Diablo Four, it might just make me not want to play Diablo Three. You know, I might just be obsessed with what's coming out next. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's like when a, a new PTR comes out or a new patch comes out. It's like all I want to do is play the new stuff. I don't even want to play the old stuff anymore. So uh, I hope they announce something. Exactly, yeah. Nothing, so can, nothing happens, can make that happen. Yeah, but that's... <laughs> Keep it thematic. I'll do my best. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. So the, they fixed that problem. Now there are no new oh, patches. Geez. So you're always you can always put the old. I don't tough. know if that's something I can do. Problem solved. I'm, I'm not quite as good. At, like I like when you said, "Boy, well, hey, don't, don't rock Can you use entirely nautical metaphors if possible? Yeah. Yeah. Just just hook line <laughs> and sinker that one, please. Okay. No, I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> oh. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't to, to rock the boat. Make sure, you're, make sure you're all pulling the oars in the same oh, direction. Oh man! Oh. And spit out that bait. <laughs> uh, yeah, it'd be all right. I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> yeah, it'd be all right. No, you're fishing for metaphors now. Huh? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah um, sometimes I'm not a big fan of crowds. Uh, so, any other BlizzCon thoughts, guys? I mean, you're but, not going uh, to fish. Yeah. If you could magically teleport there, would you go, or you just don't? I would like there? to. I'd like to go and see it, but I, I definitely am not a big uh, crowd person. I wouldn't. Although, mind. you know, it wouldn't be the, terrible. the only positive thing is when everybody is. You could talk to somebody about something you like, and everybody's there with the same kind of commonality. Yeah. Uh, so that helps a bit, but yeah. But yeah, that's the thing. I don't know anything about World of Warcraft, and so I would just be puzzled at a lot of that stuff. Yeah, as long as you like World of Warcraft, yes. <laughs> exactly. You know, I feel like I'd, uh, you know, I'd, I'd search out the Diablo crowd, and they would probably just just be walk around and shout for the horde every now and then. You have like forty-seven new be, best friends. Every or they'd be do super it. excited because something did happen. Or just super you never drunk. Never say for the alliance, whatever it's called, because nobody yeah. gives a shit about them apparently. Or all of them for the combined. Horde. Yeah, all of them alternating. Uh, well, he is. Uh, uh, should, should probably like post out there because I saw it online. He um yeah. He's doing his story time with Wyatt thing again, so season eight um, but this time it's going to happen now, after there was no the Weird Al performance, no changes, which tells me no one's quite most likely that the, the guys at Blizzard were the ones that wanted Weird Al the most. Ask Wyatt if you, um, if you run into him at BlizzCon there. Because uh, <laughs> it, he made it out basically that, like, last year, remember, he, he uh, did the story time, like, kind of during, or, well, the year before. Oh, is it? The year I was there, he did it during Metallica's set. That's why I was kind of, like, going back and forth, because it was still Metallica, and I kind of wanted to see what was going on there, but... Um, Usually it's the. It's but yeah, I mean, like, uh, but he is he is still doing story time with Wyatt, and it's going to happen first, uh, uh, after. I've been, I've been there for the it's going to be in the Diablo and area, and, and it's going to be after uh, Weird Al's set the last night, I believe. And in case I'm dead wrong and misinforming people, uh, look up uh, Wyatt Shank's Twitter because he posted it on there. Yeah, candle uh, C A N D L E S A N. At Gandelson. Well, try to attend that if you can. I will not be at the show at that point. I'll be already back to my uh, yeah. Hunt, but well, and the other thing is too, Candleson, it's kind of like that's right where there. you'll see you'll see a huge community meet up there. I mean, you'll see the Reddit guys, you'll see us, you'll see you'll see me and Flux, you'll see uh, uh, Leviathan and Nineball. I'm sure. Um, if anyone from the community is a uh, dread size, well, yeah, he hangs out. I mean, about people and most people that are in the Diablo uh, community are going to be he there for that, and it's at least a place to meet. <laughs> There's far more than ten of us, buddy. <laughs> uh, there is a Diablo area, but I don't, uh, I don't remember where it is or what the uh, what it entails. Lots of girls too, man. Good place to look for dates. Oh wait, no, it's not. 
But yeah, that happens that sometimes when I hang around. Do we even have a Diablo area <laughs> inside the show this year? We're out in the street like animals. Neither does anybody else. Yes, I'm sure it's there to be wonderful. Anyway. I plan on playing super casually yeah. until uh, either new content. Like, I, the other problem with me playing casual right now is that, like, I'm not yeah, really so happy I'm with where the Wizard's at, so it's not yeah, necessarily... Like, I don't night, really I'm like playing tonight. Firebird Archon again and again and so, um, again. So I'm, like, kind of I mean, wanting to go something else in until there's, like, changes or something. I'm probably going to just play casually until we get some news or... Something else revitalizes me, or there's absolutely nothing else to play because there's a horde of really good games out right now. So I don't feel too bad cheating on Diablo until we got something new. Yeah, yeah, there you go. For the horde of new games. Yeah, the fact that the only useful which Demon Hunter set is uh, UE, which is my least favorite, or else that weird fucked up build, which, which I met earlier, is definitely not encouraging me to hop right in there this season. Yeah. If they'd plunked, like, an extra 200% damage onto, like, Marauders yep. and Natalias, and then nerfed I guess me a little bit to kind of even lucky that because I, I would probably have a lot more interest in playing. I don't like, like you know, I played Yui last season. I kind of know what that, how that works. Right now with the, the, I kind of got as far as I'm likely to get I've, with, like, you know, like 70 hours the, of game time. So, uh, the kind why of, bother? Uh, why repeat the same thing when one side is vastly better than the other That makes me feel like I'm having fun doing what I want to do. And I'm also playing with... You know, I have a lot of friends that I'm playing with constantly. I, I only play with them. I don't play in public. And so those two things really keep me, uh, have kept me involved in this season. So yeah, I'm still absolutely. having a good time. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm still playing. The, you know, I, I kind of dial it in towards the end of the season last year, uh, last season when I got up to the 85. And uh, early this season, I. Uh, I was having a hard time finding an NGOM, which is really the key to my build. You're playing the same like, wizard Everything about time. it. The, it's, it is no fun. It, it's, it gives me like all the damage, all the speed, and all the fun that I have. Uh, and I found one, I think it was Monday, and uh, it ended up being ancient, like perfect, very good. And then the next morning, I was just doing a bunch of... Uh, Greater Rifts did a decided to do one more 60 before I went to work, and the power went out. And just as I Rip. just as I'm like teleporting into a huge group, and you know the power just and Dang. Uh, it came back on like immediately. And you know I started the computer, you know starting everything. I'm, I'm just thinking to myself, okay, I had yeah I knew I was gonna, but I, I you know. I had the I had the molten gizzard on. I had the esoteric gem on. I had the the Achilia cuirass in the cube. And I'm like maybe I teleported in. It. Maybe the halo kept me alive for the ten seconds. You Why know, even it, look? But you know what this no. is going to happen. No. Yeah. So, <laughs> you have to go to that work. was a huge. That was a huge blow. I mean, I know it was only like you know three or four days into the season, but huge setback. Finally, though. Yeah, finding an ancient NGOM was just yeah. I'm like, oh man, I'm you know, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be able to do 75 tomorrow, you know. I mean, I was just doing 60s because I couldn't do any higher yet, and I didn't. Even, I was just leveling gems, and uh, you know, so yeah. Now it did set me back quite a bit because I spent the, this whole week without an NGOM, and I just one of my friends who plays Barb found one yesterday. Or yesterday or the day before, and and gave it to me, and that then I was finally able to to play again. I mean, today I got up to, I think I'm doing seventy three, seventy three or so, seventy four. I did earlier, but uh, yeah, I'm even looking at my gear now. I'm like, I'm I'm three to four hundred thousand lower damage than I used to be. So. Oh wow. Yeah, without the ancient, the ancient, you know, it's, now it's just got a regular NGM. I don't have an ancient source or, you know, the source has to be very specific too. So last season yeah. I didn't even find an ancient all its season. So, yeah, but it's going, it, I'm, I'm, I'm at least to the point where I can enjoy myself and, and try to push again and just forget about the power outage, which was just awful. Because the day before I was having a hard time finding a halo and an NGM, the, the night before I lost power, I found an ancient Halo and ancient NGM. Just oh wow! Su- superb rolls, and I had I even had the Compass Rose with damage and cooldown, and uh, yeah, 
it was it was a rough blow. It was one of the more devastating early season deaths I've had. But now I'm back. There you go. Yeah, I was ready to you know I was getting you know I was playing gems to to augment early on. I'm like this is gonna go great. It was a good it thing you didn't. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Totally. At least you were to So much more fun to lose absolutely all the progress that you've made. Yeah. Especially with the power outage, that was obviously my fault for yeah. not having backup generators running. <laughs> but see, now you yeah. feel more alive than ever. That's the joy of hardcore. That's why you play hardcore, right, Nerdwords? Because even though if you die, it makes it more fun when you're alive. <laughs> that would be all right. Um, ah, that's why I don't play hardcore. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah I'm no. super psyched for BlizzCon. Uh, really excited. Hopefully, get to meet some people, I hang like out with some people, to your computer, you can, like, uh, watch really some cool fast. stuff. Maybe we'll get a cool surprise announcement. Maybe not. Either way, I plan on you can, you can hanging out, village, drinking, like, like partying, so. chilling. So, Come say hi. Um, any final thoughts, uh, nerd words? Are you just this is why you don't play hardcore, basically? The, I mean, there's the, there has to be a reason for BlizzCon to happen, but. Maybe that's maybe that's it. Maybe it's just a jam with weirdo. But I feel like even if it's not Diablo related, there's going to be something announced. I don't know. We'll see though. Either way, I'm excited. Will there be surprise announcement? I mean, they always announce something of BlizzCon. It seems like every game they have, it's we're up to date on, right? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to uh, it's hard so to say can, anymore. So they can jam with Weird Al. What else? There's there's going to be something Diablo related. I think we will see. Well, yeah. it's not going to be They're Diablo. They're going to finally you know that finish much, the, I mean, the transmog. Is, to none that, of their other uh, games is like primed for an expansion now, right? Or a new property? I mean, we don't, <laughs> we're not expecting anything big, really. Space Boots. Warcraft 4? I mean, what? Nothing? <laughs> I think Moon. Yeah, Wyatt with chicken and waffles. No, there'll be nothing. Moon Boots. Yeah. Kind of. Oh, I'm, I'm okay, not expecting, but I am hopeful. It'd be a, like, it'd hopeful, be but ready rainbow. for... It'd be like a reverse rainbow. Instead of like a Roy G. Biv rainbow, it'll be like a, a Vib G. Rob. Because like the indigo will be next to the blue instead of the other way around. That'll be awesome. I'll, I'll totally buy a ticket to that. i say three. Anyway, hopefully I'm wrong and there'll be something I'm exciting, but four. I'm not expecting it. And you guys are uh, kind of expecting it. <laughs> okay, okay, one to ten. I'll go first. One to ten. One is nothing new. Diablo, you wouldn't even know they have a game there. Ten is like Diablo 4 announcement. I say, I say one and a half. <laughs> I hope so. Please, I suck all of it. Please tell me. Well, well, we're getting Never. better. Oh, we're we gonna four more the guests ult- on the podcast. Probably we're going like to record the half there pretty soon. Like That'd be awesome. To... We'll have to stop at a four. Anyway, thanks, guys. I'm glad to glad you were on the podcast. Yeah. Hopefully, this will be posted before <laughs> okay. BlizzCon. And it'd be funny if it's yeah, like amazing new stuff. Nine. It can be like in the YouTube comments, like you guys suck. You're all totally wrong. Because cause you never see anything like that in YouTube comments. Ooh. You know? Ooh. People are really like polite. Ooh. 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 Yeah, I'll record five different endings of this. And next one, I think <laughs> can for Diablo 3. For <laughs> can, we just, can we only speak so in moves awesome at BlizzCon? Stuff. That's how you'll find us, guys. Just listen for the for the mooing herd of people. How about we just go to BlizzCon and just start walking around saying, Moo. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Dude. Dude.